welcome everyone we are now at the end of the month the month of october and today it will be the first blooms video normally i do the monthly blooms but because of the move i only have a few plants that are currently blooming and mostly younger plants that just started growing and developing here on this weekend tray we have max pizza pizzicato first bloom it's a girl leaf miniature variety by george mcdonald and also on this shelf we have the first bloom of dale's polar canary it's a miniature variegated streptocarpus here on bottom shelf we have a standard streptocarpus variety this is a ukrainian hybrid by pavel yenikeyev from dnipropetrovsk ukraine it's called ds black magic and it's just beginning to bloom so the blooms are still unopened and the blooms on this variety are so dark purple that are almost black you can see it in comparison to the pole of the plant stand how dark these blooms are also in this room is Coleria Ingrid I brought the rhizomes with me and now they started growing little plantlets and this is uh, Peperomia it's a new type of plant for me um, and it's called Peperomia apricos it's a rippled variety and the geraniums that I got from the geraniakai nursery almost all of them started to create buds This room is south facing and it gets really warm during the day. Today earlier it was 91 degrees Fahrenheit as you can see here. So I've noticed that the geranium plants even though they do like bright sun but because of the heat during the day they start losing lower leaves. They become dry and yellow so i now have a dilemma as to where to place these so that they keep their leaves nice and green and because of the large surface of the leaves they evaporate um, moisture really fast and so i have to water these every day now let's check out what's blooming here we have many more blooms on this plant stand and let's start with my very first bloom chimera called eternal orbit this is a semi-miniature variety and i got it recently from linden lime greenhouses and it is blooming true it came with buds and there were many buds on this plant i removed almost all of them and i kept two bloom stalks here and when this one opened i was a little concerned because it didn't have the blue stripe in the center of each petal but then the second bloom stalk opened up with true blooming flowers so i'm very excited about it here we have ballet snow cone by fisher very pretty blooms on tall bloom stalks just the way I like it and very nice symmetrical rosette ballet snow cone next to it is opening up its first bloom NL Easter chime or NL Paschalny Perizvon very pretty pink bells with semi-miniature variegated foliage 
also very symmetrical plant. Then here we have Jolly Prince, one of my favorite crown variegated semi-miniatures by Horton Spitman with very deep um, purple, really royal color. They're like reddish purple blooms. Next to it is getting some bud re ready to bloom and Nitiri by Nadezhda Bernikova. This is a sport of another hybrid by the same hybridizer and avatar and I'm growing leaves. These are the leaves and they're doing great. And then next to it is Wrangler's Jealous Heart. Just beginning to open up its first blooms. I grew this plant from a leaf that I received from a fellow Facebook African Violet Nerds group member. Amanda, huge thanks to you for this beautiful, beautiful variety. Wrangler's Jealous Heart. I'm very excited about its first blooms. This is a standard with variegated leaves and frilled, very, very pale pink blooms with some green edge. Here we have Rob's Outer Orbit just preparing to bloom. So this one will be in my next blooming video, but look at this variegated rosette. Very beautiful, shiny foliage. Love this variety. Now here we have a tiny little bloomer. I don't know if you can see the blooms. I will include a picture for you, a close up. This is Syningia pusilla. It's a relative of African violets. And this is the micro Syningia, the only one that I have in my collection. And I got it from my local club, Thousand Oaks African Violet Society when I lived back in California and it started blooming. This one is Aussie Pink Girl. It's a variegated curl leaf standard by Maxwell. Just preparing to bloom. And then here we have another variegated girl hybrid. This is a semi-miniature by Ralph Robinson called Rob's G Jim. I love the blooms because they have darker tips and I think the orchid purple color. There will be many more blooms opening up soon. Here we have a standard, a Russian standard by Yevgeny Arhipov called A.E. Oracle of Destiny or A.E. Oracle Sudby. This one is the first bloom that opened and it has to have thumbprints on every petal, but so far we only see partial thumbprints and I attribute it to just this being the first bloom, so I will keep watching the next blooms. It's a good bloomer usually. This is a very young plant. And then far back here is Cajun's Flamboyant Mistress. Also the first bloom. It has wavy, semi-double, candy pink blooms on variegated foliage. Then here on the next shelf we have Amur Elite. This is also a Russian standard by Evgeny Arhipov. Very first blooms and they have very beautiful blue fantasy specks on pink and white. It's a pansy shaped bloom. And here we have a couple of Jolly Princess blooming inside of the domed propagation container. This is Peppermint Girl. It's a miniature with girl leaves by Horton Spitman. 
very very small tiny girl foliage and relatively large pink blooms that are double with white reverse very pretty and here i wanted to show you a very pretty baby plant scales by Yelena Libetska. It's a semi-miniature with platinum pink crown variegation. It's not blooming yet. Here we have Anne Tumbelina preparing to bloom. It's a semi-miniature by Nadezhda Bernikova and Dumovachka, and it translates to Anne Tumbelina. And of course, it suckers like she always does, so I have to clean it up again. But the blooms are very pretty. And here on bottom shelf, this is Max Scorching Sun by George MacDonald. Just having small buds, but I wanted mostly to show you the crown variegation here because of its beautiful it's kind of lemony yellow color. Very pretty. Then here is Max Just Jeff with mosaic variegation. Not blooming yet. And here we have Folkman's Pinky with lots and lots of buds and a couple of blooms opened. This is a girl leaf, actually a semi girl leaf, semi miniature variety. A semi-girl is when it's um, something in between shape of leaf, between the regular leaves and the girl foliage. And here we have Rob's Calypso beet, and I think mine has sported, but I still love it because it has a very beautiful orchid pink color or lavender color, and I think the regular variety should have some uh, blue fantasy on pink background. And here we have some new arrivals. This one is doing really well. These are from Violet Barn. This is RS Aquamarin, if I remember it correctly. Let's check it out. Yes, it's a beautiful standard by Svetlana Repkina, but it's way too young to bloom. And we have Marquise by Dadayan. It's another Russian standard. And I think I saw a bud somewhere here. And it's right here. So it will be blooming soon. And then the one that has started to bloom is moss glass slipper which is supposed to have some blue speckles around the edge but i'm not seeing any blue on any of the blooms that have opened so far and i know that there is a registered sport of moss glass slipper called moss fuzzy slippers that has pink edge around the white background and i'm wondering if mine has sported i will keep observing it and i will keep you guys posted and this one is a miniature syningia called fool's lady rain it's doing very well here we have some leaves propagating and it's been two months, so almost all of them have sprouted and are growing babies. And I still have some of the plants that are in plastic bags and believe it or not, but they can be like this for at least a couple of months and um, then I will be repotting them on wicks and I have a couple of bubble gardens 
This one is with Apicia called Pink Smoke. Also needs to be repotted. On this window, I have a few Apicias that I have repotted. I'm trying a mini Apicia Silver Sky just growing in, in the ceramic pot with top watering method. It seems to like it. Next to it is Silver Sheen growing on wick. This is Chocolate Cream, a very young plant. This is an African Violet standard trailer called Belly Jemchuk. It's variegated uh, with crown variegation and it's not blooming yet, but we're getting there. It's a very young plant. This is Seningia Isas Glamour that I received from Violet Barn. It seems to be doing okay. It started losing lower leaves because the air is not as humid as it must have been in the native nursery, but the upper leaves are looking okay. This one is Streptocarpus vat mandarinka by Tatiana Valkova. I have two of these blooming now. Um, the uh, special thing about the Streptocarpus is that it changes color of the lower lobes from bright pink to almost orange as it matures. Um, pink gator. This one is an easy grower. And another easy grower is Alice's Aussie. And next to it is Strawberry Patch. This one came from Steve's Leaves. And Alice's Aussie came from Southern Oak Aquatics. And I put them together so you can see how similar and yet different they are. Apicias are known to have similar looks and to have their leaves look different based on the conditions in which they grow. Uh, so in my conditions, Alice's Aussie, for example, doesn't have any pattern on the leaves. It's just uh, almost all solid pink, metallic, dark, pink to red and then strawberry patch does have some dark olive green on the leaves with also some dark pink and red color almost red it's dark pink here we have more blooms bristol's nightfall streptocarpus by ralph robinson with very bright dark blue blooms with yellow throat and some black lines. Uh, I think they're called fangs. An African violet miniature trailer Jersey girl trail with girl leaves and very bright pink semi-double and double blooms. Up to Mara Yosemite 2 from National Park Series by Holt Camp. Opening up its first blooms. Very full double white with blue edge and some green. Rob's Gandaru, a semi miniature trailer beginning to bloom with very beautiful lavender blue semi-double blooms here is what i think is a masterpiece standard hybrid by don ness called ness cranberry lace with very full orchid pink very bright pink blooms with white frilled edge 
This is the first blooming cycle, believe it or not. Look at the fullness of the blooms and the number of the buds yet to open. Here is willow dean that is not blooming, but I have to show it because this is um, a very, very known hybrid standard. I think it's a large standard with spectacular variegation. Here is another Vat Mandarinka by Tatiana Valkova. Another beautiful bloom. Epicia pink acajou with some very, very light sage green metallic uh, center in the leaves and also some pink and bronze and dark brown. It's a beautiful cultivar. And here is uh, what was labeled as little lemon, Epicia little lemon, but uh, I think it looks more like it's a look-alike pink panther. So we will see the way it blooms. But so far, I have been enjoying the beautiful leaves. And finally, the most favorite window for my plants, the one above the kitchen sink. So don't mind the faucet. I'll try to show around it. Um, so this, these are two peperomias. They are both unknown varieties or no IDs. The one on the left looks like peperomia rosso with pointed elongated leaves. And this one looks like red ripple. This is my very first peperomia and it's been growing into a large, beautiful plant. Here we have a baby of Happy Herald, enjoying the morning sun. Next is uh, Begonia escargot that I received from Linden Lion, and it has been acclimating. So these are the leaves that it arrived with. So they still have some bruising from the shipping, which is totally normal and expected. And we have some newer leaves Two of them are developing and there is another bud coming up. Here we have a semi-miniature with curl foliage made in Japan. Splendiferous, this is a large standard. It's a vintage variety by Whitaker. And I noticed that it didn't like growing on the wick, so now it's being top watered and it is preparing to bloom. Epicia chocolate velour with beautiful chocolate brown velvety leaves. And last but not least, a standard with variegated leaves by Linden Line Greenhouses, Frosty Frolic, giving me a very first bloom. And these are semi double cupped pansies with some lavender blue and in cooler growing temperatures it has green edge 